It's Saturday, 16th of May, 2009. I'm in Victoria Square, Birmingham. I'm here for... What's your name? Nathan. Nathan? Yeah. Hi Nathan. Hi. So why are you here? Uh, to do the march on Birmingham for veggie, veggie Pride. I feel sorry for all the animals that get killed. Hello, who are you? Jake. Hi Jake. Hi. So tell us why you're here. Because to do march around, around Birmingham for the animals and, and I feel sorry for the animals and um, I just like want to make the world better, not to not eat animals and to be and a better place. Are you a vegetarian? All my life. You've been a vegetarian all your life? Yeah. Because my mum said to hospital people, I want to um, make him a vegetarian, bring, bring me up as a vegetarian. Just because my mum turned a vegetarian, so she saw in the newspapers all the animals getting killed, so she turned a vegetarian, then she brought me up like a vegetarian. And you're doing absolutely fine, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, that's great. Hello, who are you? I'm Holly, hello. Hi Holly. So, what's brought you to Veggie Pride? Um, well, I came here to help my auntie with the store. Yeah. And um, also, I came here to support animals and to raise money for them. That's great. So, uh, are you a vegetarian? Yeah, I've been it all my life. You've as well been all your life. So, We're both and sister. You're both brother and sister? Yeah. Um, well, uh, I'm vegetarian because I think that the animals, like if you have a pet what you love, um, why don't you just kill your pet and eat it? Why? Um, so it's just the same as um, eating another animal, so you should um, stop eating animals all the time. Have you got a message for all the other kids out there? Yeah. Um, if you feel sorry for animals, then even if you can't stop eating animals, just try and stop at least eating one, because if you st it, it, even if you try, then that's made a bit of difference and it saved um, some animals lives in the past even if you not ate meat for a bit thank you very much thank you I'm here with Yasus Afarai he's a poet and musician hi Yasus blessed and in today we want to rechristen the city of Birmingham Veg from Birmingham to Birmingham Veg so tell us people wouldn't equate vegetarian or veganism with Jamaica. So tell us how Rastafari and Jamaica, how have they brought veganism or and vegetarianism together? Yeah, well, first of all, it's not even veganism or vegetarianism, it's ital liberty. It's living close to nature, loving the animals so much that you don't want to kill them and drink their blood and eat them flesh. So we live close to nature, eating from the renewable food sources, rather than killing and plundering and slaughtering to eat and to preserve life. So the Rastaman say we don't eat deaders. So that is where the link now between ital vegan liberty comes with uh, vegetarian and, and, and vegan lifestyle in other parts of the world. So there's a connection. Have you been vegan all your life? I've been a vegan for 26 years. 26 years, that's a long time then. Go veggie. Even the kids here are saying this. We've even got some Scottish vegans here. What's your name? My name's George Roger and I come from Aberdeen. You've come all the way from Scotland to Birmingham today. I've come all the way from Scotland to Birmingham, but not today. I've been here for a few days, but I wouldn't have missed Veggie Pride for anything. So how long have you been vegan? I've been vegan for about um, 17 years. I'm still alive. And how are you finding it? No regrets whatsoever. I would hate to go back to eating meat or dairy products. Um, thank you. Thanks. See you. Go veg for the animals. Hello. 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 So 
So, <laughs> who are you? I'm Nikki. Hi Nikki, where are you from? I'm from Liverpool. Wow, you've come all the way from Liverpool to Birmingham? Yeah, for the food. It's delicious. Oh, the food is delicious? Mm-hmm, yeah. So, uh, are you a vegetarian or vegan? I'm a vegan. Really? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> How long? I've uh, been vegan about seven years now, and veggie before that, 13. See? Guys, see what you're missing? Uh-huh. Go vegan. Red hot vegan. <laughs> it's Ghostbusters. So it's going to say it's Ghostbusters with your backpack. <laughs> Ghostbusters. Hey? Go Surely not. Not a fish and chips stall at a veggie vegan veggie pride event. Hmm, let's have a look. Something fishy. There's something fishy going on here. It's uh, who something fishy is purveyors of fine quality soy meat and seaweed since 2008. So have all the tastes of your fish, but without the actual fish. <laughs> Now that the swine float at the plate, we say what? Wild. Wildest! <laughs> Don't forget National Vegetarian Week 2009, Monday the 18th to Sunday the 24th of May. Go veg! We've even got some belly dancing! Hi Kathy. Hello. Tell us a little bit, bit about food for donation. Okay, they're making me laugh in the background. It's good, it's a good laugh. <laughs> no, right. It's a fun day. Uh, basically, food for donation is about like, um, basically, we create food, uh, vegan food, and people can give as much or as little money as what, basically, to what they can afford, so to whatever their income is or what people can afford. And it means that they can access and enjoy like um, vegan food, basically. It's a not for profit social enterprise. Uh, we're based in Coventry, and we do vegan catering for all occasions, and also we do environmental mental youth work as well. Okay. So tell us why why vegan food? Uh, vegan foods, well there's lots of different reasons for vegan food. One is obviously there's like the ethical dimension of, of not eating animals or using animal products, um, so showing compassion. Also that vegan diet is also good for the environment too. Um, obviously a lot of the, uh, the lot of the world sort of destruction and stuff is all about the meat industry. So actually not eating meat or not eating dairy is actually good for the planet because the resources are not, not, not being used up and stuff. And also for, for people, you can have a really healthy diet. It's good if you've got like certain heart conditions or things like that. And it's like a, a healthy diet if you eat if you eat the correct sort of foods and stuff. Like a lot of the time, people will say, "Well, you rely on a lot of soya for your diet," but actually, the, ma the majority of soya is used to then feed animals to fatten them up for people to eat. And the actual soya that people use in products such as like the foods that vegetarians and vegans eat is only a real tiny percentage. So actually, if you if the soya that was made to use the animals were spread across the world then more people would be fed and it'd be a lot more it'd be a lot more equal of food distribution rather than fattening animals up to, to, to be slaughtered which is unethical so we could potentially really solve world hunger you could solve world hunger if people didn't eat didn't eat meat and didn't eat dairy definitely that's great thanks very much okay, you're welcome thank you Oja bless us the children of humanity with thy love and thy mercy and bring us forth as the children of immortality. Joy is the essence of my life. Every breath that I take and every step that I make, yeah. Joy is the essence of my life.